What's up YouTube, Saboji here. Welcome back to another Carpenter's Reaction video. I hope you guys are having a great midweek. Happy Wednesday and hopefully the rest of your week goes well too. It's been a couple of months since, a few, a few months since I've last listened to the Carpenters. By the way, some of you guys might know, one of my favorite duos, one of my favorite groups, bands, vocal, whatever you want to call it. They're pretty high up there for me. So I am personally really excited to listen to some more music and hopefully we can enjoy this together. All right, so the album that this comes from is called Close To You. Looking at the cover art here, it does ring familiar. That's probably because I've heard one other song from this album, track number six. Other than that, I'm unfamiliar with the rest of it. And we're about to check out track number one though. Soft rock, traditional pop, pretty standard length here little over three minutes and going over this it looks like this was originally a wedding themed television commercial for crocker national bank in california in early 1970 with paul williams on vocals so it looks like this um advertising company commissioned the song to help crocker appeal to young people however it turned out to attract the wrong demographic, young adult customers with no collateral for loans. The campaign was suspended and they franchised it out. So it backfired. Now, here comes along Richard Carpenter, right? Runs into Williams here. And he's like, hey, is there anything else that goes with this song? You know, we'd like to have our go at it, it looks like. He selected the composition. Carpenter selected the composition for the duo's third single on this LP here. Released in the late summer 1970, this the single features Karen's lead vocals on the overdubbed harmonies of both siblings following their hit. They long to be close to you on the charts. We've only just begun hit number one on the Cashbox singles chart and number two on the Billboard Hot 100. Behind the Jackson's Jackson 5's I'll Be There and the Partridge family's I Think I Love You becoming the pair's second million selling gold single, spending nine weeks in the top 10. It was considered by both Karen and Richard to be their signature song. Hmm. Help them win two Grammys, by the way. Best new artist and best contemporary performance by a, du by a duo, group, or chorus. Oh boy. All right, number one in Canada as well both categories singles and contemporary i think that just about does it for the intro now here's the tricky part do i go for the studio version with 49 million views or this version right here with 50 million views i have no idea that's where sometimes this stuff comes uh, difficult to choose because i know how lovely and beautiful this voice is live right and how great this duo sounds live so it's almost like I lean towards it almost every time. Same with Queen, Journey, you know, th these bands, there's like no drop off in quality when you listen to the live version. So it's like, well, why don't I just go with that? But then other times, because the audio and these, these videos are kind of outdated, sometimes the audio quality isn't good. So then it drags down the quality. It just depends on what version you listen to, you know? So I think I'm just gonna go with this one up here. And we'll see what happens. I mean, can't go wrong. It has 50 million views, right? Hopefully. Let's check it out. I might have to rewind it now because I've been hovering my mouse over it. All right, here we go. We've only just begun to live white lace and promises a kiss for luck and we're on our way we've only begun before the rising sun we fly so many roads to choose we start out walking and learn to
stretch of life ahead We'll find a place where there's room to grow And yes, we've just begun Where there's room to grow And yes, we've just begun hmm. Beautiful song. I love the harmonies on this one. Excellent. That's probably the most harmonized song I've heard from them so far. This might sound a little weird or odd to some people, but when I listen to Karen, it's just like the most like honey, silky smooth. It reminds me of like a picket fence, a sunny day. You walk out, there's birds chirping. You see your neighbors out outside, right? And you, you just wave to everybody. And then maybe you walk over to across the street and you ask, you ask one of your, your favorite neighbors, to sing you a song, right? And it's just the most lovely lady in the neighborhood with the most perfect, smooth, honey voice that you've ever heard. And it's just so mellow. Man, it's just one of my favorites. It's just one of my favorites. I have no other way to put it. Just one of my favorites. Well, I think that was just fine <laughs> for the first version, if I'm being honest. I don't know if there was any difference between this one and the other one. Um, maybe this is the official video. I don't know. It does say MTV right here. So there's a good chance that it is just the official video. And then this is just the studio uh, version. Um, 305, but this one is 344. So I don't know what the extra 40, like almost 40 seconds is for this is 307 which makes more sense i just noticed that actually oh here's another version of the song close to you again superstar which we love oh man um rainy days and mondays which we love you guys, if you want to hear another song from them, you'd like me or a song that I think you think that you um, you want to hear or watch me react to, let me know that down below in the comments. Help me out and um, pick one for me. But anyways, I just can't get enough of this group duo. One of my favorites. They'll be on this channel forever. Um, try and space them out because it's. Not something that I want to saturate myself with because when I listen to it, I, I really like to enjoy it and space the lis the listening or reactions out, I should just say. Just the reactions. I just want to space the reactions out because it's just not something that I think needs to be rushed. It's just going to be here forever, right? So why not take my time with it and enjoy it? And eventually, when I get to the end of this... Um, discography with them i can say you know how much i enjoyed it over the years so that's really where my thought process is i'm done rambling uh, thank you guys for watching if you are new make sure you subscribe down below have a good day see you in the next one peace